How's it going you guys? Today you and me are going to go fishing for one of the hardest fish to catch in Tampa Bay. That fish being the hogfish guys. They're the elusive fish that a lot of people have trouble targeting. So we're gonna break it down for you guys and we're gonna fish for them in all different water ranges, all different depths, show you the bottom to look for and show you how to catch these awesome fish. So stay tuned over to like and subscribe because we're about to be on some hogfish. You. All right guys, today's rig right here. We got our 30 pound Florida Tackle Supply leader to one of these good old hog balls. They are made with a circle hook so you don't, you know, get in trouble. And I actually have no idea who makes these ones, but I've had them for a while. Just rigging the shrimp just like that through the tail. And we're gonna see how many fish we can catch on this little ledge. Oh, that's digging, dude. That's digging. It's a better fish. It's heavy. What is this? Dude, I have no idea what this is. It's digging hard. Sheep's head? There we go. We're in the right zone. Hogfish and sheep's head are friends. That's why he was digging so hard, dude. I freaking snagged him on accident. I'm gonna let this guy go. He's not really the one I want to keep, but yeah, it's the right sign. And the way I do the live shrimp with the jig is I just pinch the tail. You end up switching over. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. But like, I just do it like. And I'll put the hook like that. And it makes your like head sit up and they twitch a little bit. Come on, get down. There we go. Oh no! Did you see him? Came off. Got him. Got him, boys. Dude, these fish are dogging out here. Red grouper. Oh, nice. Yeah, little guy. Little guy. So, guys, we got the grunt, we got the sheep said. Now I'm afraid we're going to start running to the hogfish and the snapper. So, we just need to keep on that. Get him. You got him. That digging? Grunt. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's dogging a little bit. There we go. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Something smoked him on the way up, I think. Look at that, guys. This guy got a bite in him. I think a grouper might have tried to grab him at one point. It's healing, but something wanted to eat him. Jesus. I thought she was kicking a little bit. The thing about the grunts is like they'll die out on the way up. Oh, she kicking. Yeah, it's a grunt. Yep. We just need to find that hogfish that's hanging out with them. Gotta weed on through the grunts. It's one of those things, guys. It's a big, when you have the hogfish in the area, it's a big kind of waiting game when they show up. Got him. Digging, digging. Come on. Don't die out. Porgy. Yeah, very good sign. Once you start getting into the porgies like this, that means the hogfish are coming. 
And they're the king of light taps, dude. There we go, guys, our first um, porgy of the day. So hopefully we got on those hogfish. Yeah, those porgy though, dude, they're, if you're feeling like, ding, ding, like, like smaller than a sheep's head, they tap yeah. it, yeah. Oh, got him. Come on. He's digging. Oh. If I pull the hook one more time, I'm gonna lose my mind. That's why I hate using circle hooks. But it's either you use the circle hooks, guys, or you get a freaking a million dollar fine. Ah, that's not the right one. It's not the right one, dude. But it's a fish. It's a grunt. That one I had on there, dude, that was him. Come on. Kind of feeling like a porgy. Eh. Yeah, porgs. Porg, porg. I forget what kind of porgy these are, but they're the cool looking ones. Get him. I think you got him, dude. I think you got the hog. Yeah, take it easy on him. He pulled the right amount of drag. What is that? Yeah, dude, let's go! Get him in the boat. We got our first hogfish, dude. Yeah, let's go, dude. I told you. Is that your first hog ever? I think he might be keeper too. He's freaking right there, keeper guys. 14 inch hogfish. All right, guys. There's our first hogfish of the day, fishing the live shrimp. These are one of the hardest fish to catch and hook, actually, in Tampa Bay. He's just there. He goes. He's just legal, guys. He is right at 14 inches to the fork. So we're gonna keep them, guys. What an awesome fish to catch. And a pretty crappy day to be out here, but we're getting it done, guys. What a beautiful fish that is. Well, guys, we're dropping down right now. We've got one hogfish in the boat, pretty solid. Hopefully get some more. Yep. That might be him. It's got some kicks to it. Please be a hog. Kind of died, freaking grunt. See if I can unhook him right here. Let go, buddy. Fish. Oh. Keep kicking like that, I might think you're a hogfish. Oh, come on. I think it might be a porgy. <laughs> yeah, it's a chunkers. Where's your buddy? Huh? Where's your buddy? That's a fat porgy, dude. There's a big porgy, guys. Fishing about 40 feet of water. 40 to 38 feet for hogfish and um, big old chunky porgy. You. This is gonna be a grunt. Oh, mank. First snapper of the day. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. A little snappy snap in the mix. Nah. If he was a little bigger, I would. Probably like 13. A little main guys, there we go. Good bycatch to have. Yep. Shit. Come on. Yep, come on. Another freaking mangrove. Snappa slappa. Another mang. Guys, we just got a stud hogfish when the camera was off, of course. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Let's, dude, you're on him, man. There we go, that's a nice one, dude. 
inches. That's a 16 inch hogfish right go, there. Baby. There we go, guys. All right, guys, check out this freaking hogfish. There's a 16 incher, guys, nice male. We're steady on them in 40 feet of water. Nothing beats that. What a stud, throwing the little hogfish jigs and they're getting bit up. Phew. Here we go. Get him. No way. He was pulling hard at first. Groupie. Little red grouper. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. He's got me, dude. What's up with me hooking all the stupid grouper? Yeah, he's got me in a hole. Don't know why, but. He's really big. He's wrapping himself in something though. It's a grouper. You gotta be kidding me. He's back in his freaking hole deep. You gotta be kidding me. Not really feeling good. Kind of spinning though. Come on. No. Grunt. Grunt, grunt, grunt. Get him up. You think? If you got another hogfish, I swear. No, that's a gag. It's a big old gag. Let's go, dude. How do I flip, I flip them or what? Yeah, you can just flip them in. Yeah. You ran into the wrong SLP today, homie. There we go. I think it's stolen out this reel. Oh, that's what it was. I got one of your friends. All right, guys, all we're doing right now is fishing the knocker rigs. I got my, I got my Shimano Torium 14 right here. I got my knocker rig with my Florida tackle supply, egg weight, one half, one ounce and a half, and then um, my Florida tackle supply, three aught circle hook. And all I'm doing, sinking it down to the bottom, guys. So in the hogfish, the, as you guys have seen, the main bycatch is porgies and grunts. Once you're catching them, you're in the right area. Don't get discouraged because they'll eventually come. And all you're gonna do is once it hits the bottom, as soon as your bait hits the bottom, doo -doo -doo, flip it, make sure you can feel. Because these bites are very minute, guys, like just like that one right there, barely felt that one. And see if he eats it. I probably already got eaten off. Oh, there he is, nope. But yeah, very, very light bites, guys. I mean, that's the whole thing with catching hogfish. They're very hard to catch because there's a lot of fish that will attack your bait before them. But um, 
It's just one of those things where you, as soon as you start weeding through, a lot of weeding through, you know, you get to that big hogfish and your day is very successful. But it's like instant. As soon as I touch, dude, I'm, yep. Feeling grunty. How heavier? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. oh, that's what you want right there. Yep, that's him. This is gonna be hog. There we go, guys. Yep, nice oh, hog, dude. boys. Oh, Let's look. go. Oh, he's pretty too. Make sure he's hooked good. Yeah. Told you I was feeling him down there. Let's, Let's go. go. Dude, Let's go, dude we were on him. That's a nice one too. Let's freaking go, guys. You. We just cranked up a stud. I'll measure him, but see, that's like a big male right there. All right, guys, check out that beautiful hogfish out here grinding. These are the hardest fish to catch out of Tampa Bay because they're kind of very picky eaters. They like shrimp, crustaceans. And it's a matter of like getting them to eat, hooking them, and getting them up. You'll know it's a hogfish once, like right away. They'll start pulling drag. They're a hard fighting fish. But right there, guys, there is the third hogfish that is a keeper of the day. All keepers today can't complain. But that is just a beautiful fish, guys. Look at that. And we're gonna let this bad boy in the box. All right, guys, so basically when I'm pulling up to a spot for hogfish, the first thing I'm looking for is a ledge, obviously. Some big form of structure that I can be like, okay, that's where a hogfish or lots of fish will live. And then I'm looking for live bottom on top of the ledge, which is the fuzzy stuff, as you guys see here on the fish finder. It's very fuzzy bottom, stuff like that. And that's how you know there's gonna be hogfish living there. And then I'm gonna park a little bit off the ledge and I'm gonna hang out right on like the sand where the sand meets the ledge. That's where the hogfish are digging in, looking for their crustaceans, looking for their meals for the day. And it makes it nice, simple, and easy, just like that, guys. Oh yeah. Grunt. Yeah. I, it, the grunts are where you just open their mouth and that's what it is. They just give up. Nice. Grunt. Yep. Let's see if he dies. He's kicking. Oh, he died. Wah, wah, wah. Another day, another grunt. Oh no, dude, that was weird. Whatever it was, it was just fuck. Oh, we're bit. Wait, what? Fuck me up right away. No. All right, guys, the day has officially started to wind itself down. We're going to call it. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Hog Squad. It was awesome. We got our hogfish, caught the hardest fish in Tampa Bay to ever catch, which is hogfish. And we had a great time out here. So next week, we'll have another amazing video on the water, ready to go. So I'll see you then. Peace.